cheers! So today I thought I would share some super easy vegan meals to help you balance your chakras. When it comes to balancing chakras, I would say in general, um, it's all about focusing on eating the rainbow. So focusing on different colors, on different textures, all that good stuff. But if you do have a chakra that you want to focus more on, to open, then you can always boost um, that certain color. And I'm not gonna dive into that here, but I have a separate video on that, so I'll share that. I think it's gonna be up here, but it's also gonna be in the description below if you want to dive into that a bit more. And if we haven't met before, my name is Anna. I'm a holistic health and nutrition coach. Basically what I do is to help you go from, you know, average health, so whether you're struggling with gut issues, fatigue, and instead have more radiant health. And I do that through plant-based recipes, but also high frequency living tips. So if you want more of that goodness, also make sure to subscribe just to keep updated on when I share more videos like this. All right, so let's uh, dive in. I'm gonna share what I usually have for breakfast first, and then I'm gonna share a couple of other recipes that I usually have during a day. So yeah. Enjoy! So overnight oats is one of my go-to breakfasts and I just take one tablespoon of chia seeds, half a deciliter of rolled oats and then I just pour plant-based milk until everything is covered. And the day after I add some raw cacao powder, which is amazing, it creates feelings of love <laughs> and it's also a natural stress reliever and some berries, and raspberries and blueberries are amazing to boost your root chakra, your throat, and third eye. And best part, adding some peanut butter. And I just love coffee in the morning. It's such a simple pleasure for me. <laughs> when I do a gratitude practice, I'm like, oh gosh, I'm so grateful for a good cup of coffee in, in the morning. And I usually add a little bit of lion's mane in there. Um, it's an adaptogen. If you don't know what that is, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, but it has some amazing benefits. So it gives mental focus, um, it supports your immune system, and just all the good stuff. Now for this vegan lentil bolognese and this is due to its warm orange color it's perfect if you need to support your sacral chakra a bit more which is all about your emotional and the sexual energy all right so i'm cooking half an onion until it's soft i'm adding a clove of garlic and then a handful of fresh thyme and then i'm just gonna mix this around a little bit then i'm gonna add some italian herbs i just go with the feeling here you can start with one tablespoon and then just add more meanwhile i'm also preparing some pasta this is holy pasta and then i'm just gonna add some of the pasta water just to make this a little bit more soft And then I'm gonna add 400 grams of crushed tomatoes, 400 grams of coconut milk, and a little bit of tamari sauce. Gives a super nice umami flavor. A little bit of coconut sugar, it's optional, but just take away some of the acidic flavor from the tomatoes. One deciliter of lentils. And then I'm just gonna mix this around. I'm gonna bring it to a boil. Then I'm just gonna boil it until the lentils are soft. Then we're adding the pasta, and I've saved some of the pasta water, so I'm gonna add that too. It makes it a little bit more creamy. And I'm gonna squeeze in some lemon juice. And then we're just gonna mix this around. And I'm also adding some salt and pepper at this stage. And voila, it's done. And my favorite snack slash food gasm, dates with peanut butter. I love smoothie balls. It's such an amazing way to get a lot of colors in, to balance your chakras. So I have strawberries, mango, blueberries, and banana. 
and then I'm also gonna add some basil leaves and some spinach so good for your heart chakra with the green color <laughs> I just love it and also some avocado in there also for healthy fats and I'm just gonna add a splash of the plant-based milk and then I'm just gonna blend this And then just serve it with your favorite toppings. I love adding granola, some cacao nibs, peanut butter, always some kind of nut butter. I'm obsessed. <laughs> All right, so I hope that you enjoyed these meals. Let me know in the comments if you plan on trying any of them at home. <laughs> and also, um, yeah, if you want to see more recipes like this, if you want more high frequency living tips, then um, make sure to subscribe just to stay updated on whenever I post a new video. So thanks so much for watching and uh, I see you next time.